Here we have some uh, RG6 Universal uh, coax connectors and uh, we also have here a piece of RG6 quad uh, cable that I'm going to put one of these on for you. And the first thing we're going to have to do is strip our cabling and uh, you're going to strip the cable very similar to what you would for regular RG6 and create this uh, two-step strip as we call it where we expose some braiding and we expose some of the center conductor here. Now uh, the braid, the first braid you see is on the outside and we need to fold this back all the way around the perimeter of the cable and we don't want to leave it bunched up anywhere and I can't tell you how important it is to make sure it is evenly distributed and folded back right wherever it's laying inside the cable. That will really help when we go to put the connector on. Now I'm also looking for a spot in the cable where the foil actually overlaps itself and it's a continuous shield there and um, we need to get rid of it and sometimes it'll just peel out of there sometimes it'll make a, make, make a little cut on it but it looks like this will just going to peel right out of there and you can see how it's just coming right out of there and I'm removing all this foil out of here and that if we left it and then folded back the next layer of braid that we see here what's going to ha what would happen is everything would kind of bunch up right there because the foil is in the way and if we don't Pull it, get rid of it, it's going to be very hard to get the, the connector actually on this, this cable. So the next step here is to fold all this braid back as evenly as we can get it, again all the way around the perimeter of the cable and get them all. And I heard one or two more there, okay. And I'm going to make sure it's all the way around, nicely uh, folded back, and that should be a properly uh, prepped piece of cable for an RG6 quad connector. And we're going to simply just take the, the cable and we're going to insert it in our connector and kind of feel it go in there and just kind of push it in until we get that white dial electric even or flush with the opening in the front of the tool and you can see how I've got the dial electric inside there nice and even with that opening. And then we're going to go ahead and use our compression tool to, uh, to uh, make the, the, the uh, actual to crimp the connector so to speak or compress it. And again the lever moves the ram inside and out and uh, there are markings in the tool right here that we can see and the large mark you see there is if I push the tool all the way down uh, the end of the ram is even with that mark and I know it's set for all of Ideal's connectors and essentially we're going to just take the connector and the center conductor loads right in the front of the ram it's now loaded between the clips and the ram and then it's just a matter of squeezing the tool down and uh, now the, it has compressed the connector all the way down and we just remove it and now that is a properly compressed RG6 uh, quad connector on the end of RG6 quad wire. So with quad, we always take out that outer layer of foil in order to get it on right. So there you go.